Hello everyone, Stan Dane here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the official Warren Commission account as to what happened in the Texas School Book Depository following the assassination, specifically the movements and actions of Lee Harvey Oswald. Understanding this is important to the things we'll be discussing as the series progresses. I'll explain why I inserted the Ready Begin slide in a moment. Now here's a graphic of the Texas School Book Depository building showing the layout and the path the Warren Commission assumed Oswald took after they said he shot the president at 12.30 p.m. Over on the left there, you can see a legend I built with the assumed route, and there's a lot of assumptions when it comes to Oswald. The witnessed route in the solid blue line, uh, that's where some witnesses uh, said they saw Oswald. And then there's a, a route for Truly and Baker, which uh, we'll get to in a moment. Now the sixth floor shows kind of a meandering path because if he did that, he would have to kind of get to the other corner of the building in a zigzag fashion because there was stock and material in that building. Over where the X is is where he uh, stashed the gun. And I think a clipboard nearby as well. And then he made it to the rear stairs over by the elevators there. Uh, they're not really shown, but those are the vertical lines. And then he went down four flights of stairs to the second floor on his way to the lunchroom. Stop. Now, why did I have a stop in there and already begin? Well, in that interval, that interval was a minute and a half or 90 seconds. That's the total time that the Warren Commission said that Oswald had after firing the shots to make his way to the other opposite corner of the building, hide the rifle, go down four flights of stairs and make it into the lunchroom for the encounter with uh, the police officer Baker and Roy Truly. Okay, that's the, that's the official story. I did that to illustrate just how short 90 seconds really is. So continuing, uh, Oswald, he makes it down to the second floor. He goes into the lunchroom and those white lines there uh, kind of mark off as best I could in this type of a drawing uh, the, the layout of the lunchroom. He goes through that uh, door that kind of angle of the white line which is a self-closing door with a window in it and he passes through that into the lunchroom and that's where he had the uh, encounter with uh, Baker and Truly. And then after uh, they cleared him and made, went on their way up to the roof, uh, Oswald is assumed to have walked out of the lunchroom with his Coke and then go down a, a hallway and then proceed to an office area. And that's where that uh, other solid blue line is at 12 by in the timestamp of 1232. And then he makes it, he continues on and uh, makes it on out the door at 12.33. So he was, uh, he was seen at that, uh, in the office area by a woman at 12.32, and the Warren Commission assumes that he, he left the building and was gone at 12.33. So a total of three minutes, which is gonna be shorter than this entire video that I'm making. Uh, it's a lot to happen in a short period of time. One of the things that uh, struck me as I was kind of going through all this and, and trying to put myself in the, sh in the shoes of the person doing that and, and making that tortuous pathway all the way across the sixth floor and down through the second floor and out the building was that it occurred to me that Oswald had to go through what I count nine doors. Um, each floor, there's a doorway that leads to the stairs going up or going down. And then it, when you 
reach that the next floor going up or going down you have to you have to leave the stairway through a door and circle around and go th through another door to continue your way continue your way up or down this image right here shows that this is the second floor and as you can see i've kind of marked off in the uh, the red lines this is assuming someone's coming up and that uh, kind of faded red arrow coming up the stairs and they would come out that door you know right next to that science and stairway and they would circle around and go through the door going up well there would be nine doors including the, the self-closing door going into the lunchroom so if i if you add all that up that's just another i don't know if those doors are normally open or not or were they normally open or not but that's uh that's a lot of ground to cover that's a, a lot of ground to cover a lot of things to have happen in 90 seconds now this, uh, getting back to the, the graphic here, here is the path that Baker and Truly are said to have taken. They came in through the front entrance and uh, made their way toward the back by the elevators. They were said to you know, try the elevators, but they weren't available. And uh, then they made their way up the stairs, like in that last, that last picture I showed you. And when they got up to the second floor and truly was uh leading baker baker was lagging behind and baker caught a glimpse of oswald so he says through this door which had been shut by then and he went over to challenge him so that in a nutshell is is the story a very very simple overview of what happened so there you have it. Interesting, huh? In the next video, we'll take a look at a compilation of all the earliest news accounts and reports that describe where Oswald was seen immediately following the assassination. Till then, keep rocking. <laughs>